again. Hi, Belinda here from the Ruth and Belinda universe. It's very exciting. We live in a world of magic and knitted textiles and design and all sorts of lovely things and lots of tea drinking, lots of laughter and fun and also lots of lovely, lovely making. Okay, so here is, I don't know if you can see, I'll just show you. Here it is. Very, very beautiful. I'm going to turn the camera just a tiny little wee bit down so you can see what's going on here. But this is, can you see, it's called the Guppy Tail. It is named Yo Guppy because it looks a bit like a guppy tail. Do you know what I think? I think it does. So, similar to the Frilio wrap, but different because it doesn't have the frill around the bottom. Much easier in the sense that it also takes less yarn, because it only takes one. Now, do you not think that's extraordinary? You get all this lovely, frilly, lovely gorgeousness, and it only actually takes one hank of Light Kiss. Mm -hmm. Now, Light Kiss is 50% merino, 50% silk, absolutely gorgeous, lovely to knit with, souffle, can you see? <laughs> right, so, let me talk you through in a sensible way. Flare, put on last. If you want to do two flares, you could do a provisional cast on at here um, and uh, then come back and do a flare off the end. That's where I'm doing it. Let's talk it through how it's actually written. I'm going to put this jaw pin down over here on the table and I'm going to show you how this works. Do not think. Making it easy for hand knitters. So, not very difficult this. This looks like, oh gosh, this looks like the beginning of lace. And it, it is, actually, because lace is usually a lot of yarn overs and knit two togethers. And yarn overs and knit two togethers is the, kind of the basic beginning of how you start making lace designs. So here we go. Let me just begin. Cast on 20. That's nice and simple, isn't it? This is, um, this is what I would call moth stitch. In fact, what you would call moth stitch, what Americans call seed stitch. Here you go. So that's that. For people who don't know what that is, it is one way you're going knit purl, knit purl, knit purl, knit purl, and the other way you're going purl knit, purl knit, purl knit, purl knit. So what you're getting is a rather nice checkerboard effect. I don't know if you can it's a beautiful, beautiful pattern. I really like it. I put it on lots of things like gloves and um, jackets, and I just think it's a lovely border, and it works. It's rather fun. So that's the end of that. So here, this is now we're beginning so you have yarn over knit two together yarn over now that is the basis of this whole construction design pattern yarn over knit two together yarn over knit together yarn over yarn over knit together yarn over knit together yarn over knit together sorry that was the wrong way around but you get the you get the idea so that's what that is that's what the, that that's how the holes are being created by the yarn overs and then you're pulling in so you're making a stitch to make a hole pulling it in so you never actually gain any stitches so you could if you continue to do that you would get just a long strip but we want it to incrementally get bigger. So what we're doing is on this row, which is the yarn over knit two together row, we're knitting before the border because you don't want the, it to grow here because it'll look ugly, if you see what I mean. You want it to grow inside here where the stitch is kind of lost, make it neat. So here you go and you knit into the front and the back of the stitch. So let me talk you through. You've got the moss stitch going on here. Let's just say it's knit purl, knit purl, knit purl, knit purl. Yarn over, knit two together, yarn over, knit together, yarn over, knit two together. Yarn over, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together. Yarn over, knit into the front and the back of the stitch, making an extra one. There you go, moss stitch. The next row, you knit. The next row, you knit. That's very, very simple. The next row, you do the same again. Yarn over, knit two together, yarn over, knit into the front of the back of the stitch, making one, making one, making one, making one, making one, so, 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 it grows, 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 beautifully growing, all good, nice and easy, not too difficult. Here, you don't do anything. This is where you're just literally not knitting into the front of the back of the stitch, just to consolidate it all, making this rather nice little, I don't know if you can see it better actually if I hold it that way, just a rather nice circular woof at the bottom. Okay, so that's that, because so it hangs really nicely. Then you're on your way home. Okay, this is always fun, isn't it, when you're on your way home. So you've stopped all the increasing and now you're decreasing. 
and again not terribly complicated not rocket science not complicated at all you're now keeping this beautiful structure and you're going the same way you're going moth stitch as you were before yarn over knit two together yarn over knit two together can you see yarn over knit together yarn over knit together blah 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 blah, blah. but this time at that pattern repeat line you're knitting two together at the end so you're eating up a stitch so here you're growing it and here you do nothing for a section and then now you're you're incrementally again going back doing the same thing getting smaller and smaller so this is the yarn the yarn over knit two together here on your way back um make it smaller and smaller and smaller next row knit next row knit so on 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 so till you get to here and then you all go oh that looks incredibly complex oh belinda how am i am i going to do that let me explain not at all so two lines to consolidate it so you just do two lines of knitting i think it's knit or maybe pearl look at the pattern don't don't follow what i'm saying here but anyway whatever it says there are two lines that consolidate it here and then you've got this rather lovely woof which is the guppy bit of the guppy tailed yo because it is a guppy tail and again it is a case of using the yarn overs as you can see the wonderful yo check it yo there you go the yo's to make an extra stitch which makes a lovely hole and there you have it so this is again you've got knit two purl two yarn over knit two yarn over knit two purl two knit two yarn over so 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 you keep going and you do that four times and on the way back because you're now here you will have these two loops as you can see these here and you need to purl them because you want stocking stitch on the front stocking stitch is one row purl one row knit that makes sense and just knit stitch it's called garter stitch that's just knit 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 and what's purl stitch called does it have a generic name i don't think it does anyway purl Okay, so what you have here is, you have, of course, pearl stitch would be the opposite of garter stitch, but the other way around, it would be the same. Okay, so you have here, you will then knit these, you'll be purling, sorry, apologies, you'll be purling these two here, so you will be then going four purling next time round because you've made two six purling, eight purling, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. We have stopped at 22 just to have a little bit extra yarn, just in case you want to sew up the edges or do something delicious with it. I don't know, wrap yourself in it or, I don't know, you know, do cat's cradle. I don't know, whatever. But there's a little bit more. So just keep going till you get to the end of your yarn. Just make sure you have comsa. I don't know, what, what's this, a metre, a metre and a half, two metres? to cast off cast off loosely if you cast off tightly i suggest going up a needle size which is always a brilliant brilliant idea because it just makes everything just feel a little bit more delicious and a little bit more as you can see stretchy which is good if you do cast off loosely that's fine um some people are tight knitters which is fine everybody, everybody knits in different ways just to make sure that you do have a loose edge then you will have something that looks so in edges, so in ends at beginning and end of, of your guppy tailed yo. And then you will have this lovely thing. It won't be as big as this, and I'll tell you why. People have said, Belinda, it doesn't look as big as this. And the reason is, is because you need to put it in some water. In the sink. Give it a good... Like this. It's got loads and loads of silk in it. It won't hurt it in any way. Give it a good shake out. If you have lines that you hang out in your garden or on your balcony or whatever hang it up to dry give it a good pull yeah make sure you do give it a good pull like this good pull. can you see it's actually very forgiving and, and it's got very very stretchy fabric because of all those lovely yarn overs it kind of really woofs so um there you go or yeah absolutely so you can hang it on the line or put it on a towel in the bathroom on the floor wherever you want to, you don't have to have to do it in the bathroom. It won't make any difference what room you do it in, actually. But anyway, the bathroom is where I would do it. And there you go. And lie it on the floor, pull it like crazy, make sure it's all lovely way laid out, wait 24 hours, ta-da! And then you can wear your beautiful design, give it to someone, wear it with pride, enjoy it, wrap yourself in it. You can do biker lovely mode, I'm kind of elegant, I quite like this, do you not think it's quite elegant? 
quite like this, this is good, and please use, I've got a little tape over here, shawl pins, shawl pins, mango shawl pin, absolutely delicious, as you can see, really lovely, 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 that's a shawl pin there, holds it all together, foof one's hair up, make oneself cool, <laughs> Very glam. Gosh, I don't look glam at all, do I? I look a bit kind of all over the place. Anyway, no matter. This is, it's not about me here looking glamorous. It's about the floof of it all. An exquisite floof. Um, exquisite, soft, warm, delicious. Great fun to wear, great fun to knit, easy. There you go. I knitted this, designed this, actually knitted it and pulled it and pushed it and whatever in watching two episodes of Downton Abbey. It's quite good, Downton Abbey. I don't know if any of you watch Downton Abbey, but I think it's rather good fun. So, um, and there you go, the guppy-tailed yo, with a lovely guppy tail at the bottom. Um, if you have a problem, we're here to help. But I hope you won't, because it has been explained. And I hope you enjoy knitting it, because it's great fun. And you can be some kind of strange person by putting it on your face like this if you want but don't if you don't want to no that's silly okay that's it over and out this is belinda um for ruth and belinda